Are you ready to purchase an office? What does the process look like? Hi, I'm Dr. Rishi Salwan, the dentist helping dentists buy and sell dental offices. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the buying process from searching to closing. Number one, what does the perfect dental office look like? The first step to buying an office, finding an office that fits your needs. Consider what you practice and how. Are you the kind of dentist that likes to work with families? Or do you like to keep a smaller clientele where you can focus on a higher ROI with implants or surgeries? It's also important to consider where you want to practice. How do you determine where you should buy or start a practice? Here are some essentials to keep in mind. Non-competition. You have bought a practice from an experienced doctor. You have the office, the equipment, and the charts. What happens though when the doctor that you bought from opens an office a few miles up the street from you or right across from you? Commute. Driving, gas, road tolls, are all on the rise. You want to make sure that the drive that you make to work is the easiest one. After all, you are going to be making this commute at least eight to 10 times a week. Community. It takes a village to raise a child. The same might be said for a dental office as well. Environmental is essential to any situation and being. It's important to recognize your surroundings when choosing a place to settle down. Where you decide to plant your feet is not only imperative to your business's economical health, but also for your mental and physical health as well. Two, office hunting. Once you know what kind of office you want, you can narrow down your search. We help facilitate all sorts of sales, from leaseholds, to startups, to full business acquisitions, to just goodwill and charts. Whatever you need, we will help you. Did I mention we also do real estate sales? Before viewing any of our listing, it is essential that you sign a non-disclosure agreement via DocuSign. Signing the NDA is imperative to the confidentiality and to the integrity of the sale. At the end of the day, you do not want your friends, your family, or your staff to know that you are selling your dental office when it's your turn. Once you have signed the NDA, we release all confidential information on any of the offices that you have requested. We will work with you and the seller to find a comfortable, suitable time for a showing and a meeting at the dental office. If you see the office and you like it, it's time to place an offer. You decide how much you would like to purchase the office for and we would draft up a letter of intent. From there, it's up to the seller to either A, accept your offer, B, decline your offer, or C, counter your offer. Once the seller and buyer have both signed the LOI, now we can move on to Step number four, entering escrow. Once an offer has been accepted, we will work on opening escrow with an escrow company. This ensures everything is organized and by the book. First, you will need to wire your initial deposit. Secondly, both parties will decide which help to hire, the buyer or seller may hire an attorney or consultant if they desire. Dr. Rishi Salwan and our team, we are not attorneys, we are not lawyers, we do not give any legal advice or any accounting advice. We always recommend you and advise you to hire your own help if needed. You will need to decide which bank you would like to get a loan from if this is not a cash offer. Next, a UCC search lien will be ordered. This is escrow's thorough investigation into the seller's business to make sure that there is no debt left for the buyer to be inheriting. Stage five, due diligence. As the buyer, it is up to you to ensure that everything is to your liking. Here, you will work with your hired parties to review or collect any documents that may be needed. It's time to look over all of the office financials, fee schedules, lease, and more. In the process of due diligence, we will draft up purchase agreements and exhibits and send them to you to review during this time. The second half of the purchase agreement are exhibits. The seller will draft an exhibit of included items and excluded items. The exhibits cover all equipment that is included, excluded, or any other inventory. Exhibits will also cover allocations, work in progress, and redo and repair work. 
depending on what kind of transaction is taking place. Both the purchase sales agreement and exhibits must be drafted well before closing to send to escrow. Once the purchase agreement has been reviewed and finalized by all parties, we will circulate it via DocuSign for signature. Upon execution, we will send it to the escrow company as well as the bank to help prepare for a successful, smooth transition. Stage six, closing. Once due diligence is completed and the necessary documents are completed, the escrow company and the lending bank will work together on preparing the closing documents. From opening escrow to closing escrow, it can take as little as 45 days. The actual timeline of the closing process depends on the timeliness and the participations from the buyer and the seller. Once everyone's ducks are in a row, and before you know, it's time to grab your keys and relax. Congratulations on your new office.